Yo, what up, YouTubes? This is Moto Vlog number 10. So as I mentioned in Moto Vlog number 9, I wanted to show how I got my nice setup for the chin mount on the helmet. As you can see, I have the nice adhesive mount base right there, kind of on the cheek side, just past all the vents, and it works pretty well. The only thing I don't like, and I don't know if you can see this on the camera, is that it seems to be pulling off a little bit in the front, but so far it's solid and, you know, nothing seemed to uh, come off on it. So let's go ahead and put that mount on. So we have the GoPro and the skeleton or frame housing, sorry, with an extra lens that I picked up for, oh, $4.79 just to protect that lens. I like keeping it naked. It's more friendly, lighter weight, not as bulky. Uh, then we got the 90 degree with the long, short, 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 and these straight pieces right there are key. That's what's really going to make this work well. I don't know if I can hold it and get that in there, so bear with me. So we got the whole linkage clipped in. As you can see, it's nice and tight. Just sits there perfect. And pretty well centered too, from what I can figure out. It's just slightly, slightly to my left when I'm riding, but you can't really tell in the footage. So let's talk about that mic setup that I have going on. Right now, I just have the extension of the cord coming out from the helmet. And what I like to do is wrap it around the mount right here and then it plugs into the adapter. The adapter I have inside so you can't really see that but I have the straight piece adapter and most other riders have the flush one that is a 90 degree plug. I have the one that comes straight out and I don't mind it because that gives me the ability to have a little bit of slack with it straight out this way and then it tucks back, hooks into that, that cable I just showed you, this end right here, and then I wrap that a couple times around here, and it just goes and tucks in right there underneath the, the bottom of the helmet, in which we then go inside and Everything's tucked behind that cheek pad, just nice and clean. And the microphone just sticking out the cheek pad just a little bit right there. And you know, I think it's a, a clean, fresh setup that's gonna really make a nice change to my videos. One really key aspect when making this mount happen is going to the hardware store and getting these socket screws because if you know the GoPro likes these they're great but they're also an inconvenience when you have multiple pieces linked into your setup so you can clean it up a lot, make it more aerodynamic, and 
you can tighten it a lot better than a Phillips head screwdriver when you have a socket. So go to a local hardware store, go to where they sell individual nuts and bolts. I think these were 75 cents a piece. Well worth it. So with that said guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about my setup. And until Moto Vlog number 11, this is 402, signing out. We're gonna need a bigger base. <laughs>